over the last seven days, I've been using the original iPhone, the iPhone 1, as my only phone. And here's why. Modern day phones are no longer just phones. They're also your computer, camera, calculator, clock, calendar, news, and the list goes on. But it's not always been this way. Apple released their first ever iPhone back in 2007, which at the time was revolutionary for technology. But since then, technology has evolved so fast and so quickly, the features on the original iPhone that at the time were groundbreaking, like having maps on your phone, are now seen as normal. So I'm going to search for Starbucks, and sure enough, there's all the Starbucks. Yes, people were really clapping for yeah. someone using Google Maps. At the time, this was groundbreaking. Since then, a lot has changed with iPhones, and I wanted to see how outdated the first ever iPhone is in 2021, 14 years later. By seeing if it was possible to use an iPhone 1 as your everyday phone in the year 2021. So the first step in doing this was getting myself an iPhone 1. Now, I'm not going to lie, I don't actually know what the first iPhone was. So I did some research into the history of iPhones, and then I discovered it. The first ever iPhone was literally just called iPhone. It was released on June 29th, 2007, and this was it. Oh, that looks so old. I mean, it is old. It's 14 years old. The storage came in 4, 8, and 16 gigabytes. How did people used to live like this? So yeah, after the research, I knew what phone I needed. Now I just needed to buy one. So I searched through eBay looking for an iPhone 1 and found a whole range of prices from £165 to £349 to £19,000. Yeah, that's a bit out of my price range. But I kept looking over the next few days and I found this listing for £140. Buy it now. So I checked the description and had a look at the photos and it was good enough for me. So just like that, I made the purchase. Yes, the order's in. We have made the order. So I was waiting for the order to arrive. I went to Amazon and got myself an original Apple charger and also a SIM card adapter kit. So I made the orders and quickly they arrived. And next thing I knew, I got a knock at the door. The package has arrived and I'm pretty sure this is the iPhone. So I opened the package eagerly to see my new phone. I unraveled it and it was the phone, the first ever iPhone, the iPhone first generation. Look at this. I've never had one of these in hand before. This is an iPhone first generation. So I inspected the phone a little bit and decided to put it on charge. Are oh, we getting power to the phone? Oh, it's come straight on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it is here, guys. So it was time to have a closer look. So here was a home screen that had all the old app icons, from messages to calendar to photos to camera to YouTube, which, spoiler alert, doesn't work anymore. So all the other apps are pretty basic, apart from the music app, which was called iPod, which came with one album by the Chemical Brothers with all these songs. Who are the Chemical Brothers? I then took a side-by-side -side with my iPhone 1 and my iPhone 10, and here's how that looked. And then I discovered the worst thing of all. Wait, there's no front cap. There's no front camera on this. So I took a 2007 selfie. I then decided to check the app store to see if I could download any apps. Oh, they got TikTok. You can literally get TikTok on the iPhone 1. Yeah, I may have spoke too soon. Oh, no, I can't get it. It requires iOS 9.3. I'm going to have to go a week without a TikTok. How am I going to survive? It was also the same for other social media apps like Instagram. This app is incompatible with this iPhone. No, we can't get Instagram. So I tried to use a desktop version on Safari. However, they wasn't having any of it. Safari could not open this page because it's not established a secure connection to the server. Twitter really said you're too broke to use Twitter. <laughs> so at this point, I was rethinking this whole video. So I did some research and it turns out this app store doesn't really work anymore. So yeah, the next week won't just be with an iPhone 1. It'll be with an iPhone 1 with no extra apps. But yeah, I then spent my last few hours with my iPhone 10 making the most of it, making the most of the apps that I had that I wasn't going to be able to use for the next week. Before I started day one of using the iPhone 1. Alright guys, I've just woke up and today is the day that I put my iPhone 10 away forever. Well, not forever, for a week. So I removed my SIM card from my current phone. I put it into an iPhone 1 using the adapter. Turn the phone on. New voicemail. It worked. It actually worked. I then opened the package I ordered for Amazon, which was a safe. Here we have a dictionary book safe. It looks like in the dictionary. However, you open it, it's a safe. I then gave my phone one final kiss and said my goodbyes. My phone is locked away in the English dictionary. And for the next week, I cannot use it. I'm going to miss you. So on that note, it was time to get on my day with the iPhone 1. So first things first, I wanted to test if the phone actually worked. So I decided to phone my mum. Okay, it's ringing. Oh, what does that say? Call forwarding active. Okay, it's ringing. This is a good sign. Hello? Who's that? Yeah, as you can see by my face, this is not my mum or anyone that I know. Yeah, it turns out I typed the wrong number. I accidentally called this random guy called Terry. Yeah, I don't think I got the right number. So sorry, Terry. So I checked and realised I typed my mum's number wrong. But on the bright side, it works. The phone actually works. I then tried to check the 2G internet and this happened. Could not activate your cellular data network. You're not subscribed to a cellular data service. Oh, no, 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 please, no. Oh, don't tell me I've got no internet for a week. Yeah, I've got no internet for a week. I looked up this issue and went through all the 
the settings to change it. No, it still didn't work. Oh, why? Why iPhone? But from what I can work out, my network doesn't support 2G internet anymore, and this phone only has 2G internet. Yeah, at this point, it's basically just an iPod that can make phone calls. But yeah, I tried to fix this, but it just wasn't working, and I had to go. I had a dentist appointment booked, so I had to leave for that. All right, so I just got into my car to go to the dentist, and I went to put my music on my aux. However, uh, usually when I do it, I have to use this adapter on my wire, because new iPhones don't have headphone ports. However, this iPhone does. So I can put this straight into here. Look at that. However, the only issue was we only had one album from the Chemical Brothers. So I drove to the dentist, listened to my new favorite band, the Chemical Brothers. And after an enjoyable ride, we arrived at the dentist to where I was told to wait and wait and wait. With my only entertainment being an iPhone 1 with no app. But we came out, I got my new retainer. So I then drove back home, listened to the Chemical Brothers once again. And for the rest of the day, I just looked for Instagram, a bit on my computer, and played some Xbox with my cat. She doesn't judge me for having an iPhone 1. And then I headed to bed, ready for day two. And just like that, it's the morning. So day two started with me having no notifications on my phone. Some things never change. I then had a look at my usage for the day before. And I used the phone for a total of an hour and 59 minutes. And to be honest, the majority of that time was me trying to fix the internet. So I then sorted out some orders for my merch. Catfish clothing. Make sure you check it out if you haven't already. But I had a few orders packaged, so I packaged them up. And I headed to the post office. And guess what I was listening to? The only people on my phone. The Chemical Brothers once again. Yeah, I got to the post office. I sent the parcels. Headed back home, listening to the Chemical Brothers once again. And as you can see by my face, I was really trying to enjoy it, but I just had enough. There's only so much Chemical Brothers one person can take. So when I got back, I plugged my iPhone 1 into iTunes and tried to sync my music onto the phone. See if it works. Here we go. Unlock. Come on. Give me some Claro. Yes, here we go. We've got Claro. We've got George Mason and Harry Styles. Honestly, an iconic group. That's right. It worked. The next thing I needed to do was to connect my AirPods so I could listen to the music. <laughs> AirPods Pro. Yes, come on. Yes, it's connected. Wait, wait, wait. I can't believe I connected AirPods Pro to the iPhone 1. So I put the AirPods in and played some music and this happened. Happens. Yeah, it wasn't playing through the AirPods, it was playing out loud. This isn't coming up, it's going through my AirPods. So I tried to check the settings, see if it disconnected, but it wasn't, it was connected. So I tried to phone my mum to see if it would work as a phone call. And it did! It's going through my AirPods. So Bluetooth earphones only work for phone calls. Wait, let me try music now. Why don't they work for music? Apple! What were you thinking in 2008? Or whenever you released this phone? After all this work, I'm gonna have to use wires. <sighs> Everyone's gonna think I'm broke. Yeah, I don't think the wires are what people are gonna think I'm broke for. It's the fact I'm using an iPhone 1 in the year 2021. But I grabbed my wires and I headed out. I planned to go meet my friend Dominic, who's a jewelry designer, and he was gonna gift me one of his rings. So I ran and made my way there. And first thing I noticed, I couldn't use Apple Pay to get on the train because this phone doesn't have Apple Pay. So I had to use my card. But I got in, I then sat down and listened to some music through my wires. Yeah, I think on the train and sat down and I noticed there was a sign free onboard Wi-Fi. This is perfect. This is just what I needed. So I got my phone out and tried to join. However, of course, it didn't work. I don't know why it wouldn't work because I couldn't Google it because I had no internet. But Transport for London, this is a disgrace. Why won't you let my iPhone 1 join your Wi-Fi? So for the rest of the journey, I had no internet. But at least I had my cousin Harry Styles playing in my ears. And eventually I arrived. So we may have a problem. I don't know where I'm going right now. I got sent the address I'm supposed to be meeting, but I can't put it into the iPhone 1 because I've got no internet. So I I wandered around London like a lost dog. I had no idea where I was going. But this would be a lot easier if I just had internet on my phone. But luckily I came across some Boris bikes. I had a map next to them. So I worked out where I was and followed the map and kept checking ones along the way to make sure I was going the right way. And after a long, confused walk, we made it. I met up with Dominic. We did a trade. I gave him a t-shirt and he gave me the ring. And I made my way back to the station and then this happened. Well, I'm just the one that going to have you now, you know? I don't know. Yes, yeah, someone's asking me for directions. I've got an iPhone 1 with no apps and no internet. I'm the worst person you could have asked. People asking me for advice. I don't know where I'm going. I then wait for the train, listen to some music. I'm appreciating my new ring from Dominic. I'll put a link to his Instagram down below if you want to check him out. I then got on the train and once again still had no internet. But eventually I arrived and made my way home. And just like that, we are back. What a day that was, honestly. How much stress was that? Literally, none of that stress would have happened if I just had an iPhone that had internet. So yeah, today was definitely a realization of what it's like to actually use this phone in real life. Out side of my house. It wasn't convenient. It wasn't easy. So I then once again spent the rest of the night playing some Xbox, which brought day two to an end. All right, and we are back. Day three of using this horrible little phone. Here were my stats for day two. It brought my screen time up to four hours and 18 minutes. Oh, that's not just yesterday. It's also the day before added on to that. I can't remember what yesterday's was, but I'll minus that and put it on screen now. So that's how much time I spent on my phone yesterday. Now, day three was a bit of a weird one. I didn't actually have anything planned. And another thing I've noticed is that I've had a lot of free time. I've been playing a lot of Xbox. And honestly, I don't even enjoy it. Like, I enjoy a little bit of Xbox. I think there's a very 
fine line between enjoyment and just playing it for the sake of it. And I get past that line of enjoyment and end up just playing it for the sake of it. So I think I'm going to try and find a new hobby. I've got a couple books here that I've been planning to read. So I'm probably going to start one of these today. Maybe this one because it's shorter. So I started to read. Wow, look at me. Who would have thought it? Me, reading. Yeah, that's right. I read now. Well, I try anyway. <sighs> Guys, I'm bored. I read about five pages. I just can't do it. I don't know what it is. I think TikTok has messed up my brain. My attention span is just so bad. I can't focus. Oh, uh, I don't have anything else to do. That's the thing. I've literally got nothing else to do. I can go onto my computer. I can go on Instagram. I can go on WhatsApp. I can go on YouTube. But I don't want to. I missed my phone. Yeah, this was the first time I started to feel withdrawal symptoms from not having my phone. I was bored. I had nothing to do. And all I wanted to do was go on my phone and just waste time. And that's the one thing I couldn't do. So that's all I got up to for the rest of the day. Lying on my bed, hugging a safe that looks like the English dictionary. Yeah, not my proudest moment. And next thing I knew, it was day four. All right, it is now day four of the iPhone one challenge. Four days too many. Genuinely, yesterday, I literally didn't use my phone. I charged it in the morning because the battery's low. And for the last 20 hours, I've used it for four minutes. The thing is, there's nothing to do on this, especially when I'm at home. Like, if I was out on the train, yeah, there was nothing else I could do. So this was the only entertainment I had, so I had to write notes. But when I'm at home and I've got my laptop, I've got my computer, it's very easy to just put this to the side and be like, okay, if I want to Google something, I'll just use my laptop. It's a much more pleasant experience. Googling stuff on this takes ages to load. Half the websites don't work. It's just not fun, honestly. Now, for this day, I plan to film a second channel video, so I did that. Hello, and welcome back to the second channel. Back at it again. Quick little plug, by the way. If you haven't already seen my second channel, make sure you check it out. Make sure you subscribe. I upload weekly funny sit down videos on there. So if you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe to the second channel. All right, so I've now finished filming the video now, and I've actually just made a discovery. I went to camera, went to make a video. However, there's no option for video. I could take a photo, but there's literally no option to take a video. It literally has a camera on it, but it only takes photos. I mean, to be fair, it also allows AirPods, but only when you make calls. This phone is a bit weird. So what I've done is I've looked online, and it turns out you can take videos, but you have to jailbreak the phone and get a special app. So I searched how to jailbreak an iPhone 1 on YouTube. I followed the tutorial. Some weird things happened. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is supposed to happen. But I unlocked the phone, and it worked. We had the Cydia app. I went onto that and searched for this app, Psycorder, which is a video app, and installed it. It's downloaded. Okay, this is the moment of truth. Is it going to work? Here we go. Let's open it. I want to make a video. <gasps> it worked. We can record video now. So I can film a video. I, I'm going to switch over to this now. Now, this is the iPhone 1 video. Honestly, it's so bad. I've turned the audio off for a reason because it sounds even worse than it looks. So I'll just let you hear a bit of that now. Oh, Shrek with me. As you can see, I've got my camera here. But you can tell this phone was not made to make video because oh, it's wow. so shaky. It has no stabilization at all. So we had done it. We had got video on the phone. And then ended the night with some reading. I hope you're proud of me. And that was the end of day four. Now, day five was a busy day. To start off, my usage of my phone wasn't working anymore. I don't know if the jailbreaking broke the phone. But it wasn't important. Today, we had a lot of stuff to do. I'm going to go meet a couple of my friends. We're going to go for a bike ride. Which should be fun. Only problem is I have to get a train to get there. And we all know how that goes with an iPhone one. So yeah, I'm going to take my book for some entertainment on the train. And I've planned ahead. I've said to meet outside the station because I don't want to repeat of last time. I don't want to get lost again. So I got ready, got my book in my bag. I ran to the station, got on the train, and of course had to flex my book. Yeah, I don't know if I told you, but I read now. And I had a great time. Who needs an iPhone when you've got a book? And then after a while, I arrived and I met my friends. I then surprised them by showing them the iPhone 1. <laughs> I did not expect to hold this. Yeah, they were not expecting to see an iPhone 1 today. So they both inspected it, a 14-year-old phone. I then took a picture of them, which actually came out quite good. That is not bad. And then after that, we wandered around London. I then found another Boris bike map, but today I wasn't using the map. We were getting the bikes out, so I rented them and we took it out, and I was cycling. Yeah, that's right. I also cycle now. I may not have an iPhone 10 anymore, but I read now and I cycle. So we rode around for a bit and we ended up in this park with this weird swing thing. So I had to have a go. 10 out of 10, would do again. We then wandered around even more and found this vintage shop. There was vintage clothes everywhere. However, the one thing there wasn't was vintage phones. I was the only person in the shop with a vintage iPhone, which is the biggest flex of them all. So after a start in my vintage dominance, we left. I made our way to Hyde Park where we found some parrots that you could feed. So I got some nuts and tried to feed them myself. However, I wasn't so successful. I stood around and I stood around and I stood around, but they just wasn't eating from me. However, eventually I got the courage to come close. I got one. And I caught myself a parrot. That is right. Look at me. I've tamed a parrot. Yeah, I may have a 14-year-old iPhone, but I now have a pet parrot. He loves me. This parrot is the official mascot of the George Mason Nation. His friend then came along and tried to fight on my hand. This is so scary. Yeah, that was kind of scary. But this is what it was all about. Being at one with nature. Who needs phones when you've got parrots? This was the best day ever. So I then waved goodbye and I headed home. And that was the end of day five. Now for day six, I'm not going to lie. Literally all I did all day was sit at my desk and edit this video. This is genuinely 
the only clip I have, so enjoy this. Obviously, editing doesn't involve my phone, so I literally just sat on my computer all day doing this, not using the iPhone 1 at all. And that was all that happened for me on day 6. Now, day 7 got off to the same start as day 6. I finished off editing the second channel video, and it was ready to go live. Usually, when I upload a video, I take a photo on my phone, put it onto my Instagram story saying, new video out, now I'll swipe up. However, with this phone, you can't do Instagram story. Or can you? So since we jailbroke it, I can't actually film videos on here, so I could technically do an Instagram story, but it's gonna look so bad. But a wise man once said, an Instagram story is better than no Instagram story. So I published the video, it went live, and now it's time to do the Instagram story. Oh, here we go. Guys, my new video is out right now. I fake the inner current on Facebook Marketplace. Make sure you swipe up to watch it. Yeah, what in the potato quality is this? It sounds like I'm underwater. It literally sounds like I'm underwater. So I then got my mum's iPad and airdropped the video to the iPad. And by the way, the iPhone 1 doesn't have airdrop. I had to plug it into my computer, import the video, and then import it from my computer to the iPad. But I then put the video on my story, added a caption, and posted it. Our iPhone 1 story is live. I can't wait to see what people are going to say about this. So I spent the rest of the night reading my DMs. You guys absolutely roasting my phone quality. Which brought us to the end of day 7 and the end of the week with the iPhone 1. I woke up and today was the day. I was getting my iPhone 10 back. We've been using this phone for exactly one week now. So I opened the English dictionary, put the code in. Let's unlock it. And my phone, I've got my phone. Oh my gosh. I've missed you. This feels so big. Oh, I feel like I'm on an iPad. Literally, over the last week, I've got so used to this phone. This phone feels so big. It feels so nice. It feels so much lighter. I'm going to blur my notifications, but I've got so many notifications, genuinely. Oh my gosh. It just feels so much more streamlined. Swiping instead of pressing an old button. It's so much more responsive. So much more smooth. I think I'm in love with this phone. Here's a proof in case anyone doesn't believe me. We went from spending an average of 6 hours and 20 minutes a day to 6 hours and 17 minutes a day to 29 minutes a day. Which to be fair, isn't a fair average because as you can see, Monday was loads. It brought my screen time down a total of 82%. I was just happy it was over and happy to have my phone back. And now, fast forward today, it's been a week since I got my phone back and it's been the best week of my life. I'm joking, but honestly, it does feel good to have my phone back. Literally, everything I do just feels so much more convenient with this. I think I answered the question that I asked at the start of the video. Is it possible to use an iPhone 1 for a week? Yes, it is. Is it convenient? No, it's not. Would I recommend anyone else does it? No, it's honestly just a pain. I can understand the side of it where people want to be away from technology and they want to take a step back from having all the apps on their phone, all the social media coming through all the time. But if you want to do that, don't get an iPhone 1, because honestly, it's pretty much just a phone. You can't download apps, the internet doesn't work outside your house, and you can't listen to music with AirPods on it. It's honestly horrible. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up and let me know what you thought down below, because we now have comments. So I'm now back on this channel. Expect a lot more videos in the future. But yeah, guys, it's been George Mason TV. If you have enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason, over and now. Did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's me. I look six foot, but I'm five foot three. Take a look at my Insta, and you might see a model, a rich kid, but that's not me. I just know my angles and how to pose when in reality, just look at my nose.